What we're trying to do is to put in place a rigorous process. Belco might say it needs to analyze, increase its electricity uh, rates to cope with a rising rate overhead rate and to reinvest in its aging diesel plant. But the company must provide more than words in order for the Energy Commission to approve its request, according to Finance Minister E.T. Bob Richards, who has responsibility for government's energy policy. Uh, we need a, a, an organization with the ability to basically go into Belco and look at their cost. It's not good enough for them to tell us what costs they have. The minister says he wants to see responsibility for the energy supply shift from the Energy Commission to the newly established independent regulatory authority. Right now it falls into the uh, Energy Commission. Uh, they don't have very many resources in the Energy Commission. As Minister Gibbons has said, you know, we're trying to get this um, put into the regulatory authority, which is an, uh, an organization that will have their resources. However, Belco president and CEO Walter Higgins yeah, okay, says his company is not pleased to have to ask for rate increases, but it has no other choice. You know, it's never a great time when a utility finds the circumstances require it to ask for a rate increase. Nobody likes that, and we don't like it any better than anybody else. But eventually, after you've done professional studies, you've looked at your costs, you conclude that the only way you're going to be able to continue to do what you have to do is by changing the rates. Responding to feedback from businesses such as the Lindos Group of Companies that say they too face rising overheads but have been able to avoid increasing its prices, Mr. Higgins saying he understands their perspective. And I'm very not just sympathetic but understand that Bermuda is in a difficult situation, and while some, including Minister Bob Richards, say maybe we've turned the, the corner on that, uh, it's still clear that we're all struggling from a change that's happened to our fundamentally previously strong economy. He warns that Bermuda does not want to become like South Africa, which is now in the midst of its own energy crisis. If the company starts to fail, then you get to a situation such as exists in South Africa today, where they're scheduling lights to be out certain times every day. They can't meet the load. We cannot afford to have that happen in Bermuda. Our economy is too dependent on all the things it takes for the international businesses and the hospitality industry to work. Meanwhile, Minister Richards wouldn't outright say he was not in favor of Belco's rate increases. However, he didn't rule it out. Uh, we'll see what the analysis comes up with. Uh, I am uh, uh, very skeptical, I'll tell you that. Terai Trott reporting for ZBM uh, News 9. I think that we have